Shalom, and welcome to another episode of Gimme Some Torah. We do not think very much about camels these days. After all, camels are vile beasts that are usually home to little else than flies. They are at best a curiosity at the zoo, a popular tourist attraction in the Middle East, a delicacy in Saudi Arabia, and of course, the focus of the wildly popular Geico insurance commercial with the camel that says, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Mike, 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 Mike. But in this week's Torah portion, Chaye Sarah, camels do play a very important role. Abraham sent his servant, whom we traditionally identify as Eliezer, to find a wife for Isaac in Aram Naharayim. He takes with him a great deal of Abraham's wealth and ten camels. The camels indicated that Abraham was indeed a very wealthy man. It was as if Eliezer drove into town driving a Bugatti with a Lamborghini and a Rolls Royce in tow. Rashi adds that there was something quite special about these camels. He says that Abraham's camels were muzzled in such a way that everybody would know that these camels would not graze in the fields of others. The plain text of the Torah indicates that Abraham simply wanted everyone to know that he and his son were rich. This Midrash adds another dimension and teaches us that Abraham wanted everyone to know that he and his son were good people in the moral sense. The message that we should take from this Midrash is that a Jew should want as a match for marriage someone who does good, not just someone who does well. There is a reality TV show called Millionaire Matchmaker where singles compete to go on dates with very wealthy people. Our Torah portion suggests that maybe there should be another TV show, one called Morality Matchmaker. In this show, singles would compete to go on dates with righteous people, with good people. And that's it for now. I'm Rabbi Eli Garfinkel. Check back soon for another episode of Gimme Some Torah.